if Jacksonville wants to get some more help on the offensive line, perhaps they should look no further than their own backyard. Solomon Kinley out of Reigns High School is staying in shape and ready to go for the draft where pundits have really been all over the map on where he might be selected. We caught up with the former Reigns Viking to talk about taking that next step to the NFL and what it means to be a Reigns alum. We love to tell everybody that we did that lifeguard story on your back. I think when you were a sophomore at Reigns, it must have been. Uh, I think back then you probably said, hey, I can play in college. I'm a big guy. I play the offensive line. You know, I can, I can play golf. But did you think back then you might play in the NFL? To be honest, growing up, growing up, if you ask anybody, yeah, it's not the type of thing of, and they didn't think I was going to be anything or anything like that. It was just who, who would have thought it would be him? Like from from the jump, from day one, whoever thought because I have two brothers, they are great, tremendous athletes. I got a whole family, a group of friends, they're tremendous athletes, and everybody doing their own thing, doing their own ways. Some of them playing football, some of them not, some of them just working a regular job and taking care of their family. But growing up, like I said, whoever thought it would be me, when I got to high school, come through high school, come through range, you see those type of players like Lewis Nix, um, all those type of. Brian Dawkins, you know, the history and everything behind it. Going to that school, they push you and show you that you can lead the way. All you got to do is put your mind to it and work out and work hard and be a good person. How much pride is it in, in coming from Reigns? You just said it, man. You saw the history. Now we got some more state championships there. Uh, and, and listen, there's a, a knock on, on Reigns sometimes and rebound and unfairly, I think, a, a lot of times. But is there a level of pride coming out of there and doing what you've done and hopefully doing what you might be able to do? No doubt, no doubt. It's a level of pride. It's just, I just want to represent my biggest thing is, my, from my mom all the way to anybody that I know, that knows me, I just want to represent them in the right way. I want to keep the history. I want to keep everything going, the tradition going. So by me doing the right thing, by me paying attention to those type of things, it's, it, that, that, lead, that leads the way for me. And like I said, like you said, it's just the pride in being a Viking. It's nothing like it. It's nothing like it going to that graveyard. The Reigns and Reigns and Reebok game, the big old, the biggest tailgate, the cocktail party. I go, I've been, when I was in Athens in Georgia, um, people would walk up to me, oh, you went to Reigns, the biggest cocktail party uh, after the uh, Florida and Georgia game. I'm like, yeah, I went to Reigns and Reebok. It was like, some people want, matter of fact, a coach even told me he came down there just to eat the food. He never even looked at the game. So, you know, it's just the, the effect of where I come from and taking pride in that and showing everybody that, like I said, once again, you can do it. Duran, uh, Coach Wiley. Yes, sir. How, how surprised are you that he's getting out? Um, Coach Wiley did a, a tremendous job at Reigns, and I appreciate him, everything he's done for me and everything that he's going to do for and, and father for me. But um, it's pretty shocking that he, he's leaving, but uh, I know what Coach Wiley did at Reigns, he really moved the program around a whole 360. Matter of fact, I'm going to say this for the state champions that don't want it, it was my class to get Reigns back on the map. Yeah, we went, we might have lost, but you know, we got the state championship taste in everybody's mouth. So, I appreciate Kowalik. Action Sports Jacks Primetime, Saturday at 10.30 on Fox 30.